T-Mobile acquired Mint Mobile for some $1.3 billion. Um, how did Ryan Reynolds do in his sell, his, his portion, his 25%? It, it's really hard to say because the news articles talk about the, the selling price, and, and that's it. I was just left, left to wonder was you know, his 25%, did he buy that separate from his spokesman uh, compensation? Probably, I'm guessing here, but maybe it was a, a combination where he was paid something and then he also got 25%. Maybe that's the case. Um, the only thing I could really find as far as uh, valuation was a couple of years ago. So back in August of 21, the New York Times had an article, and that article said that uh, the folks at Mint Mobile were uh, expecting a selling price at that time of somewhere in the range of $600 million to $800 million. So to go from that valuation to, to today's in March of 2023 of you $1.3 know, um, you know Ryan Reynolds did good regardless of how his compensation was structured. So good on him. Uh, I'm looking at the pricing right now of Mint Mobile, and they've been known, I guess the, the advertising push hasn't been centered around that $15 per month price, which if you've never tried Mint Mobile, uh, I can recommend you know trying them out, seeing if T-Mobile is good in your area if you're not sure. But I can definitely recommend um, that price point for sure, um, especially if T-Mobile again is good in your area. But what happens is you try them out for uh, for three months and you do prepay not just one month but you pay three months in advance. So you pay three months in advance to get that fifteen dollar. Uh, per month pricing. So you're paying 45 bucks in total uh, for three months. But then what happens after that initial, you know, three month uh, new customer uh, plan? Well, after the new customer plan, then you're left with three options. You can either pay three months in advance, six months in advance, or 12 months in advance. And of course, the big price break is with paying for a full year at 180 bucks to maintain that $15 per month. You know, I, I don't like that <laughs> you have to pay so many months in advance to get that price break. Um, I would love to see a pie chart showing the breakdown of their current returning customers. And if they have the three month prepay, the six month or the 12 month prepay, uh, I would imagine that returning customers are using the three month, um, three month prepay total. Uh, I just don't see many people going for the the annual. But you know, if Mint Mobile wanted to put a positive spin on this, they really could say we've uh, you know improved our pricing. Uh, we've you know either uh, changed the fifteen dollar per month from twelve months prepaid to maybe six months prepaid and then maybe your your annual could now enjoy a, a t-mobile perk of, of some variety um or if they wanted to be super aggressive with advertising or, or trying to get new customers um they could offer even paying only three months in advance and um offering that 15 dollars per month um uh net per month but then maybe offering some t-mobile perks for those that are willing and able to pay for you know six months uh, uh, in advance or twelve months in advance, um, it, it, it's curious to see. Um, you know, my experience with T-Mobile was good; it was positive. Um, I think maybe I had maybe one drop call, but but in general, I tend to lean more toward the Verizon side of, of prepaid um, offerings. But you know, if T-Mobile is is good in your area. Um, I can recommend them to you. Uh, I don't know how long the current pricing structure will be you know, in effect. They're talking about maintaining that $15 per month, but maybe, uh, maybe they'll tweak their structure a little bit to, uh, to accommodate that and, and provide some perks because they're, they're T-Mobile. Uh, they, can, they can provide these things now. They have more leverage in that sense. So uh, we'll see what happens, but uh, interesting story. 
um, interesting times in, in telecom. Take care.